All right, y'all, let's do this. Let's talk about goals for 2024. Now, I did a goals for 2023 last year, and I discovered that for me personally, it was a lot of fun to document and keep track of things that I wanted to accomplish throughout the year. Um, that way, if I wrote on a piece of paper and the paper got lost and all that, I could always go back to my video and be like, what was I wanting to do again? And I did reference my goals video several times throughout the year to kind of keep myself in, in check. And like, am I getting things finished that I'd like to finish? Am I accomplishing things? Or am I spinning my wheels and kind of just starting a bunch of stuff and never getting anything finished? Um, so I, I'm the kind of person that likes to check off the list. Um, Sometimes I get overwhelmed with my list and I might shut down, but uh, I try not to. Um, so I enjoyed having kind of like a list to check off of things I wanted to try in 2023. And so I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to make another goals list for 2024. Uh, now I did not complete everything from 2023. So I have some things that are kind of rolling over with me that I still want to do. Um, so here's to another year of trying to do those things. Um, but I have other things that I am um, considering for 2024. Um, and just to be clear, I do allow myself room for inspiration. So like, you know, if a new yarn comes out or a new pattern or if somebody requests something and I'm like, oh, I really, I'll give that a try. I like that. I will allow myself room to stop and be inspired because if you're always just kind of you know hammering forward and don't stop to be inspired stop to smell the roses if you will then it kind of takes all the fun out of it and so I don't want it to not be fun <laughs> so if I have a yarn that I am inspired by I want to use I will stop and I'll use it and it is what it is it's my my goals this is my year I can do what I want so <laughs> <laughs> there's that. Um, and I also have to be a little bit flexible with myself, a little forgiving that, uh, you know, I'm going to work towards these things. Um, but if I don't necessarily finish them all, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> so anyhow, let me whip out my list here. Uh, 2024 goals. The first thing is, um, or the first thing on my list, I might not necessarily complete it in these order, this order, but the first thing on my list is I want to work on my mosaic blanket that I did not do last year. Um, I have some retro stripes yarn from Red Heart and some black yarn, just like regular, I don't know where it's from. I collect black yarn because black's my favorite color. Uh, but anyhow, um, I want to make that mosaic blanket with those yarns because they just inspire me. I see them here in my yarn room. I'm like, oh, I just want to use that yarn so bad. So that's one thing on my list this year. And then following right behind that is working with a stained glass pattern. I got these neon yarns here from Premier at Black Friday. Um, for their for their Black Friday sale. Um, I had this pink, there's like a fuchsia -y color, and then like a green and a neon highlighter yellow. Um, and one of my viewers commented and was like, hey, you should totally use those for a stained glass pattern. That would be gorgeous with that black. And I'm like, oh, I never even thought of that. Good idea. So that's what I'll be using um, most of that yarn for. So I'm excited for that. Uh, my next goal um, is to use up yarn that I have. Now, last year, Hobby Lobby did their clearance, big giant clearance that they do. Usually, they would do it in June, but last year, they did it in March. And so, I went and I bought some yarn, and I love it. I love the yarn I have, but I haven't used up very much of it. Um, so... I'm gonna do my very, very best. My very best. <laughs> to resist the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn um, sale this year. I don't know when it will be. Who knows if it'll be in March? Who knows if they'll move it back to, who, who knows if they'll even do it at all? I don't know. But I'm trying to resist looking at clearance yarns and trying to do better at just getting yarns that I like you know, for example, 
the party yarn from Joanne. I didn't buy it because I didn't want to spend the money on it. It's not on clear. It's not on sale. Oh. And then I missed it. I missed out on it. And I think I saw it on their website not long ago. And I considered it. I considered. Oh, man. But I resisted. And so far, I'm doing okay. So <laughs> that's uh, kind of the place I'm in right now. I want to use up a lot of the yarn that I bought. Because it's beautiful yarn. And I bought it because it inspired me. And I need to use it. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I want to do is to find a place to donate the things that I make. Um, especially the blankets that I make. Um, for kids or for the elderly. Um, I make a lot. I make a lot of stuff. I make a lot of blankets especially. I love it. It is um, a hobby of mine. It's for therapeutic reasons. It's just because I enjoy it and um, I just so happen to share it on YouTube and you guys for some reason enjoy watching it and so I... <laughs> I appreciate all of that. Uh, but, you know, they pile up. The blanks pile up. There are a few things that I will keep forever. Um, for example, my um, color pulling blankets that are in my tutorials that I made uh, that are doing very well on YouTube, amazingly enough. I will keep those because they're special to me because of my videos. And uh, anyone that receives them, I don't think they would be as special to them. Um, so I'll keep those forever. But some of these other blankets that I make just to try out a yarn or to try out a pattern, um, I can give those away to people so they can be enjoyed instead of just piled up here in my, my yarn room. Um, so I'll be looking for a place to donate. The next thing is, um, kind of goes back to using up my yarn. I'm going to try again to be on a low buy slash no buy. Now I say both because I'm going forward trying not to buy yarn. However, I will allow myself to spend a small amount of yarn money on yarn, especially if I am using like a gift card from someone, one of my loved ones, uh, like for my birthday or I have one left over from Christmas kind of thing. Um, if it's not coming out of our family budget, then I will allow myself to buy it. Um, if it's really calling to me. So for example, Red Heart released their Granny Square yarn and I'm sorry, I went and bought some. Sorry, not sorry. But I didn't go nuts. Yeah, you know I mean, I bought a little bit, bought about, you know, six skeins of it to get an idea of how to do it and uh, to be able to make a video for you guys. Um, so I allowed myself to spend a little bit of money on that, but I did use a gift card from Christmas. So it kind of also falls in line with my parameters I'm setting up for myself. So I don't have any guilt buying that yarn. Exactly. I love it. Yay. <laughs> um, and the last thing on my list of goals um, is that I would, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, kind of nervous, <laughs> but I'm considering participating in at least one craft fair or art market um, this year to try to sell some things. Um, spring and fall are kind of like the big times for, um, markets in my area uh, just because summertime is so hot and uh, and people are off on vacations and things like that but in springtime oh my gosh you guys I thought it would just be so adorable if I made some like little hens and some little eggs oh I put the little eggs in a little carton oh my god Oh, and try and you know, sell them together. Oh my lord! Oh, to my to me, I'm like that. Just says springtime, and it would be so adorable. Um, or to make like a basket of veggies with the little faces on them. Oh, oh my goodness! So I have a an amigurumi book that has a lot of vegetable and fruits um, patterns that are for, um, that are specifically amigurumis that have the little faces, and I'm just like, oh gosh, how adorable would that be? for a spring market. So obviously I've got to get going on making those things if I'm going to do that. <laughs> but we'll see if I don't make it for spring, then um, my next goal would be to build up some stock for fall time. Um, and then in my area, you know, scars and things like that aren't really necessary, I guess you'd say. <laughs> so they're not really popular. So I wouldn't really focus on making those kinds of things, but I would make things like amigurumi um, to sell to, for people to give like presents for kids and stuff like that. Um, I also would consider 
making some like junk journals to sell. Um, maybe those would sell, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so that's just something that I'm considering. I'm a little hesitant because you know, you have to put in a lot of time and effort and money to make product that may or may not sell. And so I'm a little nervous, but you know, you don't know unless you try. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. Do you have any goals for 2024? If you do list them down below and, uh, who knows, I might join you in one of your goals. So anyway, Thanks. Thanks for coming by. Remember, no matter what time it is, it's always time for yarn.